Hi everyone, this is Nicole from Right at Home, and today I'm going to be showing you the new Seasonal Wreath die set. In this die set, there are so many little pieces and elements that can be used to decorate the wreath, but today I'm just going to be making a kind of fall harvest type wreath. I'm starting with some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and blending some Ranger Distressed Oxide inks on top, and I have all the colors listed on the screen. Once I have the blending how I'd like it, I'm going to take a water bottle spritzer and just add some water on top and then dab off the excess. And I'm going to be using this sheet to die cut some leaves for my wreath. For the stems of my leaves, I'm going to need some brown cardstock and I decided to just make my own using the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to color two little pieces of cardstock with the brown so that um, I have enough for the stems of my leaves and then also for a bow. For my wreath, I decided to go with this light tan color, which is Antique Linen from Ranger, and it's a Distress Oxide ink again. And these inks just blend really well onto the Bristol Smooth cardstock, so I decided to use them for today's project. So I kind of just focused the inking in a circular motion and checked with the dye to make sure I had enough covered. And then I'm going to take all of these pieces and use the die to cut all the different elements. I cut a few of each leaf style and then the veins and I just glued them all together. And then here I'll show you how you can use these little leaves in combination with the wreath to kind of create this really cute fall harvest type wreath for a card. So I just kind of start with the small ones and tuck some of the larger ones in behind it and I just wanted to make sure that I had like enough of each color on each side so that it was balanced and I'll move it down a little bit here in a second and then you can pop this piece onto the front of a card and I have an example here at the end and make sure to look at the die on my website and to also look at the coordinating layering guides so you can see all the different elements that are included in the die set Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.